Peace out my fluffy buns. So today I'm going to be making Snickerdoodles cheesecake cookies. So ignore the barking sound. That was my dog. But anyway, I tasted one of my workers' cookies, which is originally the pumpkin cheesecake Snickerdoodle cookies. And I'm surprised that it didn't like give me allergic reaction since I'm allergic to pumpkin seeds or pumpkin particularly, I don't know, but it was really good and I don't have pumpkin puree or allspice. We're just gonna do like without it. It's just gonna be called Snickerdoodles Cheesecake Cookies, I guess. So right now I'm doing the filling. I'm gonna do softened cream cheese for 50 grams, sugar for 50 grams, vanilla for two teaspoons. You will need unsalted softened butter for 100 grams. So after the butter that's been mixed in, make sure put one egg that's been room temperature and put 50 grams of sugar and 50 grams of light brown sugar. Since I kind of messed up the flour part, make sure put your flour for about 300 grams. So right now I'm going to put my hands with flour and make this dough into a dough. Don't do what I did because I kind of messed it up. So make this into a ball of dough for about 50 grams the same size and make sure put the filling in the fridge for an hour and make sure put the dough and the filling together and roll it up. After that make the cinnamon sugar coat for the sugar is 50 grams, cinnamon for 1 teaspoon and ginger a half teaspoon. Okay, you guys, so I'm gonna try this cookie out and see how it tastes. You know, I kind of expect for like a filling in here, but I kind of did it wrong. Sorry, ignore downstairs, that's my family. But not gonna lie though, this cookie is actually good. So give it a like if you like this video, hit that notification bell just to notify from this video. Subscribe, comment down wherever you want, and I'll see you guys in the next video.